Hey, welcome back. In this video, we are going to talk about one of the components of Selenium, that's Selenium RC. So RC stands for remote control. So basically Selenium RC is a server implemented in Java. It can accept command from browser using the HTTP. So in automation a test in Selenium RC can be developed in any programming language like Java, Python, c -Sark, and so on. So to initiate these test execution, we have to create an instance of Selenium RC server. So RC makes it possible to write automated tests from a web application in any programming language, which allows for better integration of Selenium in existing unit test frameworks. So there are different components in Selenium, in Selenium basically. One of them is Selenium RC, and this is basically the server-based. So here, what happens, it's like, um, it works based on a server and client libraries. So if you see how the Selenium RC works, it works as a client library, communicates with Selenium RC server by passing every Selenium commands for executions. So it's quite clear that the Selenium commands that we pass, it goes to the server and based on that, it performs on different browser. So once Selenium server sends the Selenium commands to web browser using Selenium code JavaScript command, then the web browser runs the Selenium command using its JavaScript executor. So here, the Selenium server sends the Selenium commands to the web browser using this Selenium code JavaScript commands. So then the web browser runs based uh, on the Selenium commands using the JavaScript executor. So basically the JavaScript commands and JavaScript executors are the one that helps to execute the commands which pass to the browsers. So here, Selenium RC act as a server and that helps to perform the test cases here. So now if you want to understand the complete picture of this, so this is how it looks like. So here it's like these are different languages that we select. So you pick any one of the language based on that, you use the Selenium remote control server. And once a command is passed through this server, so it goes uh, based on this server, it gives the output on different browsers. Like in, if the command is based on for Chrome browser, so it gives the output uh, based on the Chrome browser. If it's for Firefox, it goes for that. So this is how it works. So this is the complete structure of Selenium RC, and this is a server-based component of Selenium. That's what we need to remember here. This is all about the Selenium remote control, and this is how it works. I hope it's clear in this diagram, the complete function of Selenium remote control. That's all in this video. Till then, bye-bye. Thank you.